Hiya, welcome back to the channel, those that have been here before, uh, those that, that haven't been here or are coming for the first time, then why don't you um, subscribe and press the bell and then you'll be notified of all the videos that I'm making throughout the year. Okay, all right, let's get on with what we're going to do today. Today is a great day. Oh, hang on, before I, before I carry on, there's something I want to tell you. Yesterday, I was at uh, the local bank at the ATM machine, and this guy in front of me, he said, um, excuse me, he said, would you help me with my balance? So I said, yeah, sure. So I pushed him over. And then when I was picking him up, I said, you know, if you did a bit of Pilates, your balance would be a lot better. <laughs> I'm here all week. Anyway, that's not why we were talking about. What we're talking about today is getting the bike out. Uh, it's going to be a sunny day from what, I, from what the weather forecast tells me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to meet a friend of mine called Tony at the local gym car park. The gyms are closed, of course, because they're still on lockdown. And we're going to head up the A6 um, towards Lancaster and then turn inland to, or sort of outland, I should say, towards the sea, and uh, and then to a place called Glasson Dock. Glasson Dock has a nice butty wagon there, providing it's open, that does great bacon sandwiches and makes good coffee. So then we'll probably go from there and then go back um, what's called over wire around here, which is towards Blackpool. And if the weather is good enough, I'll try and get the, the new drone up. Those that saw the last video realize that I've bought a new drone for this year. So we're going to try and see if I can get that up and see what we can do. So, OK, so I'll see you on the road. OK, then, the weather's not quite as good as I thought it was going to be. But uh, let's see if we can get a decent ride in. Right there she blows. Okay then. Right, well, it's twenty two eleven. Uh, I'm due to meet Tony at the gym car park at 11 o'clock so I should probably be there before him Schools are back, they're all back, which is a good thing. 
slowly getting towards the easing of lockdown hence the reason why I can meet Tony today for a coffee which is good well according to the uh, the weather forecast it was supposed to be sunny today and it was sunny this morning but um, by the time it was time for me to go the sun had gone in but uh, as they say in the UK if you don't like the weather wait a minute so we don't know what the weather will hold for the rest of the day I think I'll just put the heated grips on anyway uh, just to uh, just to see oh let's go left here okay Well, it's certainly nice to be back out on the bike anyway. I'm glad I've remembered how to ride it after so long. Good morning. Are you all right? <laughs> it's fresh, but uh, not so. Ready to go? Okay. All right. Okay. Looks like I'm leading. There's some really, it's really sad this, you see the uh, building on the right here, that uh, that used to be um, Preston or Bowker's Harley Davidson, this, that's where I bought my bike from, bought this bike from, and uh, due to the coronavirus and uh, various other things, I don't know, but um, anyway, the, when they shut down um, in the lockdown on the second one, they decided that um, they weren't going to open again so they've given up the franchise for Harley Davidson and um, the the business the building is now for sale that's um, it's a really sad thing that to see because it's really bad for me because um, it was only 10 minutes from my house for to the uh, Harley Davidson dealership and uh, now my nearest dealership is either Chester or Manchester I suppose the the good thing to say is I could go it gives me a good ride to go down to the dealership but it's not quite not quite as easy to just pop in and uh, see the staff there there were some great people there at Harley um, and um, say it's just not not got the same convenience a shame There's a, there's a restaurant over here, uh, it's now called the Guy's Hamlet um, and it's a bit of a children's playground type of thing, you can probably see it over there 
with the tents and stuff. Now, in the 70s and the 80s, um, that was a, a restaurant called Guy's Court. And if you were trying to impress a lady for the first time or whatever, that's where you took her. Because it was uh, a really, really nice restaurant. There was that place and there was another one, um, another restaurant around here, or you had to use over towards Blackpool Way in Thornton. And it was called the Illawalla Country Club. And uh, it was a really, um, quite a flash place. Um, I was actually a tennis coach at the time and I applied, they were building tennis courts. So I wanted to become the coach there. And unfortunately they didn't end up building tennis courts. And uh, it, it's now just um, building land again. And it's got uh, big houses on there now. So the Illawalla Country Club is no more. So it didn't last very long. And uh, I was actually member number 25, but um, didn't do a great deal for me. Still, progress. Now coming up here is a garden centre, uh, but on the right hand side, you can see with the, the grass on the roof, that's actually an activity centre in there, which is quite good. It's got a, a crazy golf course. Um, I took my granddaughter there uh, last year when we could and uh, had a game on there. It's fantastic. I mean, it's got um, indoor golf simulators and temping bowling it's, uh, and a restaurant. It's, it's quite nice. We've obviously spent a lot of money on it. it must have been a bit of a, a disaster for them when uh, they'd spent all the money then it was locked down. But it's still there. It's still open. Well, it's open when, the, uh, when it can be. But uh, you don't seem to have um, don't seem to have gone bust, mind you. It's attached to a garden centre. It doesn't seem to the garden centres don't seem to be doing badly. What did you say? What's not working? Going above 40. Yeah. Your brake lights are on all the time. They start flickering as you get going. Right. So I seem to have an issue with my uh, brake solenoid on my um, front brake. It seems to be uh, sticking on once I get above 40 miles an hour, so the wind is obviously blowing it. So I'll have to uh, have a look at that when I get home. Coming up here on the right is um, a fish and chip shop called Thorpe's. Um, <coughs> it does fantastic Holland's meat pies. Holland's is um, a local Lancashire meat pie manufacturer, and um, they, that's it there, Thorpe's. It seems to be still open, open for takeaway, and uh, they do great Holland's meat pies, and they 
you, you really know have, have to know how to cook them otherwise they're awful but if you cook them correctly they're beautiful and they know how to cook them same as normal then yeah okay a brew and a butty. Yep. I'll put it on mine. Hang on then. Hey, we're not to 10p. Eh? Hey? Only 10p, isn't it? Save it for next time. Oh, it's four quid or something, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, there you go. It's out. Having tea? Please. Yeah, okay. We're supposed to have mass on, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, could we have a two bacon sandwiches, two yes. bacon bomb cakes, one well done, one extremely well done, yes. as in nearly burnt, uh, one tea and one coffee, please. One bird. Do you want any sauce on those? Do you want any sauce, Tony? No, thanks. No, we're okay, thanks. Two bacon, one burnt. Yeah, that's great. And one coffee, one tea. Yes, please. Yeah, we're advertising you for a YouTube channel, do you mind? No, not at all. Okay. Do you want a large coffee or tea? Uh, large, please. Large coffee, large tea. Thanks very much. Yeah. Do you want any sugar? Uh, yes, please. What do you like? uh, could I have. Uh, to, do you have brown? Do you have brown sugar or not? No, just, just, just white. white. I'll have uh, two whites, please. In, in the in the coffee. In the coffee. Do you want any sugar, Tony? Or not? Uh, none in, nothing in the tea, thanks. Hey. Eh? Tea and milk. Tea and milk. Yeah. <laughs> you find that the uh, the bacon sandwiches of this place are extremely good which is the reason why we, we turn up here. Well, we arrived at Glasson Dock. We had our bacon sandwich. And as I mentioned, um, I was going to meet Tony because we're allowed to meet one person outside. Although looking at the amount of people that are actually out today, I don't think people are actually uh, uh, adhering to that rule, but we have. So, uh, so here is Tony. And Tony's bike is a 1250 uh, BMW. Do you, you, what, what is it you've got? 12, 12, GS1250. GS1250. Yeah. So what have you done on it this, this winter while we've been in lockdown? Well, I got the wheels coloured. Right. When we bought the bike, we didn't like the wheels in first place. Right. But the only What, what option, colour were the wheels when you bought them? Black. Black. Yeah. Right. The only other option was spoked ones. Oh. And I'm not having spoked ones. Yeah, I different. like the colour of them. Yeah. And they look they look brilliant in the sunshine. Yeah. But when they get mucky. They're difficult to clean, aren't they? I don't I don't want to know about it. Yeah. So we got the black ones with the intention of changing colour. Yeah. And um we heard about this place in I won't is it I won't somewhere like that yeah and um so i went round and he said yeah i'll find you something and i said we want some this color the color of the stripes oh yeah yeah so he took some pictures he said i'll get in touch with you and um a month later uh and a few discussions in between we went round and got this sample piece and christine said <laughs> It won't do. It was a, <laughs> and when she says it won't do, it, it won't, won't do. do. That's the discussion. It was a bit. It was lighter than this. Right. And to be honest, I thought it looked a tad cheap. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So he tried again for another month, and um, we weren't really having any joy. He did say what we can do is paint them 
spray paint. Yeah. And then put a lacquer on top. Yeah. And I didn't fancy it because it's not as tough yeah. as this powder coating. Powder coating, yeah. So we said, no, we're not bothering. And we went to his other place and he said, I'll do a sample for you by Friday. So three Fridays later. <laughs> he didn't say which Friday. No, he didn't. Three <laughs> Fridays later, we were getting no nearer. So I said, forget it. I went back to the first place. He said, I'm glad you've turned up. <laughs> he said, I've been talking to another mate and he's got this antique gold. And I said, well, I want rid of the black. I said, just do them. Right, yeah. So he said, right. So I got another phone call off him. <laughs> he said, do you want it satin or gloss? And I said, satin. So I got them back a week later, got home, took the engine boys off, went back and said, can you do them the same colour? <laughs> <laughs> so a couple of weeks after that, it's all back together again. It's about three months. Right. Yeah. Something like that. But it gave you something to do in the it lockdown. It gave me something to do. And yeah. I think it looks miles better. It does. It looks fantastic. Yeah. So that's, that was a lot of phone calls. And um, I think it looks good now. Good. Well, we won't we won't ask you the cost. They'll just don't, you, you, don't you can just keep cost. that to yourself. Yeah. But, but no, but this, it certainly looks good. No. So, so yeah, looking good for your winter bike, yeah. the uh, the GS. Yeah. So, and it you, wants cleaning now. Yeah. Well, same as my. Do you are you getting the Harley out this year then? Oh yeah. Yeah. As soon as it's confirmed that we can actually go out and play. Yeah. I'll get it taxed and it can come out. Right. Okay. But I'm not going to go and waste another hundred quid. No true because i've got to get it mot'd and serviced yeah yeah and taxed yeah so well it's a couple of hundred quid isn't it it is isn't it? yeah so yeah okay as soon as he says we can come up and play i'll get it on road good good fantastic well it's looking good so right well i suppose we'll we'll probably get on to our our next destination which is probably home but yeah. <laughs> first okay. ride out though isn't it it's the first ride out it's, yeah. it's not bad is it it's not bad it's not actually can you there's a bit of blue sky coming over there look we it's may have been up, isn't it? Yeah. yeah a bit of blue sky okay okay let's get gone again Okay, that's us fed and watered. Well, the blue sky seems to be coming a little bit uh, later than we thought.
Now, as I mentioned before, uh, we're um, heading back over wire. Uh, so that's the, not going back down the A6, but coming down more down towards the coast. Through the villages of Lancashire. didn't go quite as I planned. Um, do you know this this videoing for YouTube and making vlogs is not quite as easy as I thought it was going to be. Um, I had all sorts of plans as going up towards Glass and Dock and I, I actually spoke into the microphone and told you all about the reasons why Glass and Dock was there and did a good bit of history that I'd researched on the whole surrounding area of Glass and Dock. Um, however, I didn't know that the camera wasn't recording at the time. So that was the first issue. I had the issue with my brake lights, so uh, that didn't go so well either. So I've got those to fix. I might even make a vlog of fixing those. Um, and then the next thing, I did get the drone up and I did fly it and I got some great footage. Well, no, I thought I was getting some great footage of um, Tony and myself riding down the road um, in the sunshine, because the sun came out in the end, in the afternoon, on the way back. Um, however, I made a schoolboy error, and I didn't format the SD card before I actually put it up, took the drone up. So it didn't take any footage whatsoever. So please bear with me. I know these videos aren't very good at the moment, but I'm hoping to get better. So uh, subscribe and make the like button, so even if you only have a laugh at me, at least it'll give you some entertainment. Okay, so I'll see you next time.